Hello there, everybody. This is Fear My Games here, and hey, I'm testing a new streaming setup. Um, hopefully, this one should make it so the videos look a little bit nicer. Uh, the sound I'm still working on, but I think it's going to be okay. We'll, we'll figure it. We'll figure out in recording. If it's really bad, I'll just restart from the beginning. Because, well, I can do that. It's recording. <laughs> And this isn't like a Guild Wars 1 campaign where it's like anything I do is kind of sad. I need to turn down that sound a little bit. It sounds actually a little loud. Uh, turn down the master volume a little bit. Thank you. Oh yeah, that's a bit, I think that's a bit better. So we have one more. Uh, it's been a little while since I've actually done Clan Angren. Um, I've been focusing on other things, but I did a lot of Clan Angren parts ahead of time. Um, so now I'm doing a little bit more. I'm still ahead of schedule, but I want to keep ahead of schedule. Looks like I have one more turn before I can move out north to Clan Fester, so we'll just end turn here. So probably what, what I'm hoping I can do is I'll be able to move north, take Fester Spike for myself. Who's that? Oh, okay, Carol Curtin took it. No, wait. Oh, there, there it is. Golden Order. Dang. So I want to take Fester Spike first, get rid of those little Skaven people trying to corrupt my settlements. Why? Uh, and... And by doing that, I should hopefully, uh... Be able to remove the corruption to cover my lands, but also should give me a nice staging ground to move north against the Crooked Moon. Hopefully the Crooked Moon only have two settlements um, that I that I need to deal with. If they don't, then well, we'll deal with them when we de get to it. Um, do I have, so I have just a lot of yeah. That's all I got. Uh, can I recruit anything better than this? No, I cannot. I would not be able to do that for another five, like another eight turns, probably nine turns, maybe before I can recruit Coralers. So I think I'll just have to move on with what I got. And hope for the best. Let's do... Let's do militia training. Because these guys do need to be as strong as possible for this upcoming fight. I'm not going to have anything Ready. better for a little while. So... To battle. It looks like the Skaven are pretty weak right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait right here. And that should allow us to underway immediately over to Fester Spike on the next turn. Can I, I, do I still have movement left? I don't really have movement left. So we're just going to end turn here. Hopefully the next two turns Fester Spike doesn't magically get a big ass army. That would be unfortunate. Uh, but I'm hoping, you know, always can hope. Always can hope. So this part's going to be a bit short. I played this part to be a bit shorter than the rest of my parts. Because I... I'm doing this between my lunch break, but this is also my smaller lunch break, and I spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out how to, I got a boom mic, but it looks like the mount for my microphone and the boom arm don't really go together, and I kind of need to figure out how to fix that. Um, uh, Uh, but, so it's going to be a visual part. I was originally thinking of doing a little bit of stream instead of a video, but I was like, eh, I'd rather do, I, I might be best to do a video before I test my settings. All that stuff before I do anything drastic. Let's go Scarred Veteran to give him more hit points. I think that's going to be the best thing to do for the Thanes, is give him some nice health. That way they could take a few more hits, and then do melee defense. I don't really want to do things like Ancestral Grudge because, like, if it's only against, like, Greenskins, my only enemy is not Greenskins, so I'd much rather get anything else first and then get that kind of, like, last. Alright, so we're gonna go underway now. Our ancestors would be proud. Hornet One watches me! Salt unit snipes. I can get a really good chance of assassinating their chieftains. Nice. Assassinating one of their stronger units is always a nice thing to do. Okay. He's gotten a lot better compared to like last time where it's like, you go assassinate them, it's it's our only hope. And fails, fails, fails. Like he's got a lot better with it. 
Uh, but, I, but he almost caused our campaign to fall apart by just being by being as incompetent as he is. I found how strong my general is in, as Clan Angrund. It's been a little while. I think he's well. I know he's a pretty strong general. But I forget what level he is. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. It was like they tried to do something to me, but they didn't. But they weren't able to kill it. Declare war. I can lightning strike it and just make this battle super easy face roll. I like that idea. I'm tempted to just auto resolve it because it's super easy. I think that's what I'll do. This one's going to be a bit more of a lot, lot larger battle, so let's fight this one out, however. I'm going to quick save it. The reason I'm going to quick save it is because I want to make sure that, um, in case it crashes, I can just reload into it. Oh, I actually never said pause as an option yet. But basically, one thing I do with the, 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 as a little bit of a test thing, because I have a laptop that, that's pretty nice, and I was like, oh, you know, the CPU is actually kind of nice on my laptop, so I decided to try and test out, like, using my laptop, uh, Two computer streaming, um, like two two like a two PC streaming. It was actually a bit of a nightmare to get set up. I'll be honest with you, with my wavelength and stuff like that. Um, but I finally figured it out. It took me like before. It's for me to get it working and be figuring out why it worked. It took me five hours. Um, it would have taken me one less hour because I didn't realize that my headphones I had connected to my. Laptop were not was not actually projecting sound to me, so whenever when I thought it was like I thought I was like oh why is this being so weird and then I found out the reason so like, why is this not working re and then I found out the reason why it wasn't working um, was the fact that like because the reason why I just couldn't hear it because the game was being ridiculous. Um, it just feels like for some reason the heads fit wasn't working. It's that, that's that's what I can say is a feels bad moment right there. Destroy that tower real quick. Just to make sure it doesn't take out any of my units if I can help it. Using this guy to basically just take some bumps, take the damage that might otherwise would go to my units. This is actually a pretty nice, decent looking settlement. I'm not gonna lie. I wonder if this is part of the modded, one of the modded things I got. <gasps> what? Oh. They're not the most accurate. So I'm gonna speed this up just because this is just the beginning part right now. His entire purpose is just damage the gate, destroy it, make so that they feel another spawn ability going off. Not the end of the world. They're not really a big threat to my warriors, but they're just clan rats. The gatehouse has been damaged, the gate's been broken open, perfect. There we go, now I can make use of these guys to just fire at them. I'm not going to bother destroying the walls, though, because I don't need to destroy the walls, so why bother destroying the walls kind of a situation? Hmm. 
There's a nice juicy amount of targets right there that my catapult squigger just goes with the fire into. Yes, murder, death, kill. Good job. Wait, are these all... Some of these are storm vermin. Okay, I was going to say, are these mostly just clan rats? Because I was thinking of retargeting my grunt doors up to where I see those storm vermin with shields. So those are going to be a pretty, pretty big problem. Because they're... They're not... They're better than... I think they're better than my units. They're at least equal to, if not better than, my guy, my own units. Is the wall in their way? That could be either why they're so slow. Well, they really don't mind if they happen to hit the walls, you know? They can hit the walls if that's what they want to do. If that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. I always say, you know? As long as the majority hits the squishies and hit squishes them, then that's good enough for me. And they're doing just that. Meanwhile, my my melee infantry start moving up and trying to storm the wall. The ones I'm set for to storm the walls, and then the rest getting ready to storm the gates. That plague mic's been getting pretty beaten up. They haven't moved since I started focus firing there. So I'm quite content to destroy as much as I can before my units even get into melee range. Now this is a pretty decently sized map. I'm def this is definitely a mod map because very f there's very few maps that I've seen when I've played as um, when I played this game have actually decent looking maps. Even as sieges. It wouldn't be bad any of these guys up on the walls when I possible. Which was, where, where's, I, where's my. Oh, wait, this thing's still here. Kazuki, Kazukai, Kazuni. These grudge throwers are definitely putting in the work though. Look at those, these guys got a decent amount of kills. All of them over a hundred kills each and counting right now. My men are only just now engaging the enemy in melee. Thing tells, says you can. There we go. Well, might as well charge into them. The gate's wide open. Why are you idiots trying to go up a ladder? The gate is wide open. Now this is where these guys and their throwing charges come to play. Well, 
that was a good, decent shot. War of Vengeance, you say? The door is wide open. Stop trying to go up the walls. I'm, I want these guys. Now I'm going to try and just have to try to fire a wolf because these guys are not going to do it unless they unless they order them to. Where's this guy? Where is this one? Oh, there he is. Dude, the, dude, the door is open! Just walk in! <laughs> Come on! So you claim, good sir, so you claim. They have a chieftain and a wizard in there, so that's the one thing to keep in mind, I guess. Oh, well, I guess I'll have the thing kill the uh, general guy up here. It's a grudge. <laughs> Alright. These guys are doing a good job. I wish these miners would actually fire instead of just getting into combat because for some reason the enemy comes back and like retreats beyond their walls and like so that so that means they're like behind me when they rally. But it means my miners aren't doing their dang job of throwing their charges. Yeah, <laughs> this is a this is a quickly becoming an, an end of. Uh, end of battle kind of section right now. Oh, my grudge throws are starting to run out of ammunition. Well, I, can't, I guess I can't complain about an easy victory. Stratagem wins out in the end. I feel like these guys took a little bit more damage than they necessarily needed to, just because I think of the, the way the walls are set up and stuff like that. And some decently well done magic. Honestly, I didn't really need to go on the walls, I just wanted to. So, that's why I did it. Now that's their warlock engineer. Pretty cool looking unit. These guys are just dang there like they are the champions. They have defeated all that stands before them. As they're running away. Ooh. Uh, is there any units left on the enemy team? Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, it's like, it looks like they're pretty much empty. Uh, 
<laughs> the blasting charge has definitely got a lot of kills because like as they were, they basically just kept running through them and when they weren't running through them they're actually throwing their charges into like a big blob of enemies and my uh everyone except this thing got a lot of kills that thing he he, he did some weird stuff and for some reason wasn't with the whole army so he kind of was just left behind that's what happens though when when you're stupid enough. I'm sorry, I'm just saying my messages real quick. I apologize. We had a nice easy victory. We'll we we'll need to take a little bit to replenish, just because like some units were pretty mo pretty hurt, and it'll, it'll also take a little while because I assume there's no dwarf population here because the two factions here is or green skins and. And Ratman, not exactly promising for uh Lord of the Emblem. Well, nice job. Everyone's higher level. So Scarred Veteran for more health. For you we'll do more five have last thing of Scarred Veteran. You do you get your fancy stuff yet? No, not high enough level. Um, I don't like that one. Sapper's not bad. I like Sapper. Let's go Sapper. Oh, he actually gained more two levels, apparently. So I'm pretty sure that Sapper was just level one. Rid of negation. I have everything I think I want from you. Though dampening isn't bad. So I might go for dampening. I do like that, too. That's going to be pretty useful, too. I'm going to go for... Uh, there's a lot of things that are actually pretty nice. I'm gonna go first for random grenier. Gr gr just make sure he doesn't die. He's already resistant, but that's even more resistance. Wait, what? Oh, he has another level too. Okay. Um, go dampening, I guess. So I might go against something with a lot of magic. Might maybe. We'll see. So you are not quite maxed out. Honestly, I should probably get ambush defense because, like, the big weakness for for um, for dwarves is but being ambushed. You know, your armies are designed to be ready to go. You know, kind of thing. And if you're ambushed, then well, you're kind of shit out of luck. Grumbold actually has a pretty decent amount of uh, decent stuff, but I'm I don't think these all oh, these things will actually be able to replenish using just the whole general population. So it's not region based. That's good. Fester Spike's pocket, like, public order will be pretty bad for a while. Um, until that corruption starts going down. So, ne yep, yeah, next settlement's going to be taking Karak Norn, um, which, and then Karak Asgaraz to, to control all these mountains and stuff like that. We'll see if the Crooked Moon ends up being as difficult as they were before to defeat. We have Grudge Throwers. So that's good. We don't wait a second. This is a tier two barracks, guys. I can get quarrelers now. Nice. They won't be. I don't think they'll be as good as if I recruited them for my main settlement area. But better than no quarrelers. <laughs> um. So I, I'm definitely gonna. Take that as an opportunity to recruit some corollaries. How much? Okay. But well, what? Well, so I can. How much can I afford? I can afford multiple of these. Okay. So we're just gonna do is we're gonna get rid of all of our miners. And get corollaries in their place. Oh. Five turns. Mm, not what I'd expect to see, actually. Not what I'd expected at all. Good job, dude. Basically, we're just clearing out the crooked moon age, crooked moon agents that are kind of harassing us right now. Um. Once, the, once we get rid of them, then I'll send this guy up to scout, see what the situation is, kill whatever he can. You know, usual stuff. Let's see, can I, what can I forge? Can I forge anything good? If I had diamond, what's the, 
Diamonds are way over there. I won't be able to get diamonds then, unless I unless I trade uh, for them. But I won't be able to trade for a while with them either. So I need to go through the border princes, either through th uh, probably not militarily. I let like my, I might ask for military access. I might actually have military access from them already. I don't remember. Oh, uh, I could make some like halfway decent weapons, like basic ones. Um, yeah, that's not a bad one to make. Melee defense and armor is always nice, especially with those Thanes who, uh, I wonder, I wonder if they, I know they normally, like, no armor, but I wonder if arm, if they, like, get at least a little bit of armor. Look, Bel I don't want Belagar. I wanted, um, this guy. Check he, so he has... He's an enchanted item. Honestly, I don't like the potion of speed. I think it's kind of useless. But so I'm going to give that to him. So he's a veteran gauntlets. I want to see if that makes him have any armor. Kind of curious. Or if, like, even that, like, because he's a ghost, he'll just ignore it. Would surprise me. No spare weapons, no spare talismans. So we'll just leave it like that. Probably end our turn here. Nothing much more to do. Tino. Yeah, we're gonna basically be kind of sitting there for five turns uh, as we recruit quarrelers. I'm definitely it's de I, I'm definitely happy to finally have what I consider a pretty good army. We have our artillery, we have our range, and we have our decently strong front line. And our quarrelers aren't horrible in melee. They're just, I definitely is not. It's definitely not the ideal situation. The throng is mustard. I challenge the Ah. Oh yeah, because he had fatigue. Oh, that that was my bad. I didn't. I didn't really consider his fatigue. Oh well. That was a bit of a waste of money then, because I could have used that one to try and make a gunsmith's forge. Or they saved up for it, you know. Oh, son of a bitch! I did not notice that. That's a lot of savage orcs, and this settlement is is gonna die. And with and that's annoying, because it's also my economic hub. And very high tier. True king of eight peaks. Let us begin. Beards and belts. Time for a reckoning. I'll have to deal with the money loss. For the wisdom of Belaya. I'm I can't I'm not gonna I can't cancel that. Army of keep is a bitch though. If, if if it makes it means that I can hold that settlement, it'll be worth spending all that money to to get a get a quick garrison in there. Oh, are you kidding me? They went around my main army. This is it obnoxious. It's also not a strong army. I probably want to try and attack these guys to wake them out, but the longer the longer I can hold off, the better the garrison gets. By the king's command. 
but there's no way I can but there's no more money to sustain the this little this this quick army they're too expensive damn it Let us begin. For the wisdom of Belaya. Dang it. Anad. Onward, time for a reckoning. If... That's annoying. Though, because there's nothing I can really do about it, because, like, I'm, my guys can move, um, I can't afford to have him, I can't afford him killing it, so. <laughs> but it's unfortunate that the, um, that the Crooked Moon ended up moving past, was, uh, on the move towards me, so they probably, they didn't bother, like, uh, the AI just kept going towards me. You know what? No. I don't like you. You took a settlement I wanted. Um, I won't be able to hold this. I'm just gonna auto resolve it. Holy crap! That guy got a lot of kills. I'm now sad he's dead. Like, wow. I'm depressed. But I can't move my army now. No, you don't. I will go to war with you, human. I will kill every single human if you take another step forward. I stand defiant. Bitch is gonna die is basically my motto right now. Oh, but so unfortunate. I canceled the upgrade for Xerix still to try to make the money for it. And unfortunately, I won't, I'll lose all of my money once these guys get into construction, which I can't build them anymore. That's so anger inducing, actually. I will go to oh good. I was fully ready to kill that human and every single human in existence in this world if they decide to fuck with me. What? Very well. I will do it. I have to be ready for work now. Mm, I'll just auto resolve it. I don't have time. Hope so. Oh, that's annoying. That just sent me back so much in terms of income. Yes. True king of AP. I'm gonna go for more tax rate, I guess. Maybe I had time for it, but I wasn't. Sh I wasn't so sure. I also have to make a phone call too. Let's do that. And I'm actually super surprised about how much that that uh, that Lord just walloped the. <laughs> he got over 600 kills by himself. I did not think he was going to be able to do that. 
Nice, I got a critical success. So either if he was not immortal, I just killed him. Which is nice. Sweet, sweet vengeance. Looks like the Empire's been demolished by the, at least, like, you know, the non Reichland people are being just demolished by the Vampire Council. Which means I need to deal with them soon. So, yeah, once. So, after this, I need to rush back to Grimhold, start recruiting more um, Quarrelers. And get more Star Recruited Quarrelers again, and finish off Crook and Moon before the Vampire Counts are able to start looking in my direction, finally. In a funny way. We're going to do one more turn order. One more turn, and then we're going to call it there for the day. Um. You can mostly because the simple fact of the matter is, I need to get stuff done. So, yeah. Fortunate that we had an, a bit of a, another, a bit of annoyance with the Crooked Moon, you know, getting behind us and just and just taking our our basically a settlement that was designed to give us money. Uh, on the bright side, with through Grimhold, they shouldn't do that anymore. They should start going directly at me now. Um, as is positives and negatives, you could say. Um, yeah, conquest is gone. Provincial stability will go away. Um, that won't really help with public order too much because military presence. Yeah, basically every uh, because the only thing that uh, this corruption is actually really bad in terms of like uh, yeah. Ewis game and corruption going down, untainted. Like um, I guess it's not really doing enough for it. Ready. But I do need to start moving out though. I can't oh, stay yeah. here. Just not a smart move to stay. So we'll uh, next turn we'll underway out of here and rebuild our corollers. I can build two units of corollers. I would say um, I can afford to two more um, while this is still rebuilding itself. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah well. Don't tell me they've taken something from me. No, okay, good. I, I new faction encountered Reichland. I was like, I'm surprised I only just encountered them now. Oh, these guys went, are now at war with me. Onward. Yeah, let's assassinate that one. I see that they're starting a new army over there, so I'll keep that in mind. So it looks like these guys declared war on me are now making their way over to attack. Can I afford? I cannot afford either of these now. Well, I couldn't even afford it even before that. Um, Lord of the Ungrund, so I'm going to fall back to Karakwiftar. There's a garrison, well, not big. It's more units than zero, and I'm going to fall back here um, for now. It will probably end the turn. It will probably end, will end uh, this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day, night, wherever you may be. And hopefully everything went nicely with the recording. So take care, guys. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.